Oh yeah, welcome back to Degree Lists, ladies and gents. It's Friday morning, where the weed at? Had a bit of sad news this week, didn't we lads? Although the death of a corpo juggernaut like E3 isn't technically something I think deserves or needs to be mourned, I'd be lying if I said it didn't make me just a little bit bummed out. Sure, it wasn't providing any value, at least not for customers, and hadn't been for years, but I still can't help but think of the glory days of E3 when shit like the Dreamcast and GameCube were first popping off and get just a little bit misty. Y'all know me, I'm a big softy, but that's life I suppose, survive to relive and all that, so we must be moving on and of course, getting deep inside. And what better game to get deep inside of than Cyberpunk 2077, a game that if press can be believed, a great many people have gotten perhaps too deep inside of. I myself put in about 100 hours and had a great time with it. Other people, not so much. And others, way too much. Cyberpunk is definitely a weird one though. You can check out my thoughts on it here if you're so inclined. Whether you were able to enjoy it during launch, play it during the latest patch, or said fuck it right off rip, I don't think it can be argued that it heralded the end of CDPR's so-called honeymoon period. And They've been working overtime to undo that damage ever since. Personally, I think they've done a pretty decent job getting the game up to a somewhat tolerable standard, so I'm excited for any news of the new DLC, Phantom Liberty. Though for the thousands of you that were no doubt traumatized by this game, it is understandable if you've completely written it off already. I mean, shit, if I tried playing this hoe during launch on a PS4 or something, I definitely would have too. Yikes. Talk about PTSD, holy fuck. But, for those of us still interested, there does seem to be some news on the horizon. In a recent tweet, CDPR let us all know that we're in for a fat info drop on the DLC, Phantom Liberty, in June. Phantom Liberty is a spy thriller expansion for Cyberpunk 2077, set in an all new district of Night City. Now, per VGC, it will star Idris Elba as Solomon Reed, an FIA agent for the new United States of America, as well as Sasha Gray, who will be voicing Ash, a radio DJ, on the in-game station 89.7 Growl. I don't know about y'all, but it seems a little bit odd that they'd only be using her as a voice talent instead of the other stuff. The last time I saw her doing any acting was in an episode of Entourage, and she wasn't exactly stealing the show. Either way, Sasha Gray is cool, so if they want to put her in there, Dope. The beloved Keanu Reeves will also return, of course, in the expansion reprising his role as Johnny Silverhand, plus a whole bunch of new characters too. An investor relations manager, that sounds like a trustworthy title, for CDPR was also noted as saying Phantom Liberty will have a bigger budget than any other CD Projekt Red DLC to date, which, for those of you who recall the Witcher 3 expansions, it's pretty fucking crazy. As we all know though, lots of money does not a good game make, so as always, we'll just need to wait and see. CDPR comms guys also went on to say that we hope the new adventures and characters will attract those who are already familiar with Cyberpunk and also encourage many new players to start playing Night City. <laughs> not as much as you guys simply not completely cluster fucking the game from the jump probably would have, but sure. I'm certainly not going to begrudge you guys trying to clean up your mess, so fine, I guess. Before any knobs get slobbed, though, it is important to remember that CDPR is on the record saying that Phantom Liberty was the only planned expansion for Cyberpunk 2077, but definitely not the end of their plans to make money off the IP, as there's already another Cyberpunk game planned for after the DLC called Project Orion. Notably, that's slated to be worked on by a new US-based studio called CD Projekt Red North America. Now, will this be an example of USA number one, where they managed to further repair the catastrophic near-fatal damage done to their brand by this game? Or will it only further highlight the tragedy of their Icarusian fall from grace? Only time will tell, of course. I wouldn't get my hopes up, but I will pirate that DLC. In other CDPR-related news, their CFO, Peter Nilubowitz, said yesterday that they are, quote, going back to the drawing board with Project Sirius, a reboot of sorts for the Witcher series, first announced last October. He went on to say, I'm aware that it's not great to hear from a company that the project is being reevaluated, but at the same time, in order to stay innovative, we must experiment and be brave when trying new paths and to stay in control and keep the right course, especially with a project that is new to us in terms of design, developed by a new studio in our family. We need to keep evaluating the situation as we move along. It's better to cut costs early and even restart if needed than to carry on. <laughs> wow, damn, that is a lot of corpo speak, which sadly, predictably amounts to fuck all, really. What is rather telling, though, is what their CEO, Adam Kaczynski, said about it. 
This game will be set in the Witcher universe, but it differs from our past releases in that it targets a much broader audience. Oh god, fuck me. Just what fans of a game or series always love to hear. Translated, that means by making it simpler and dumber, we think we can get more people to buy it. Man, for fuck's sake, judging by that quote, definitely looks like y'all still got quite an uphill battle on your hands, CDPR. I actually hope you make it, but for right now, I <laughs> don't like your chances. Woke up, what up, smoke up.